today i want to tell you how you can approach difficult people honestly this video has brought so many people to where i worship for them to know how to deal with difficult people someone will get on your nerves a co-worker that is jealous a neighbor that is rude a relative that is not for you how you can handle difficult people will determine how high you will go yes if you treat them the way they treat you then you will get stuck they can do everything for you to be bad but when you listen to the word of god god will direct you on what to do the scripture says in romans chapter 12 verse 21 you overcome evil with good you never overcome disrespect with more more disrespect you never get ahead doing to others what they did to you that's a test of your character god is saying what you can trust is the word of god will you be the bigger person and overlook the insult will you stay on the high road and not get battered into conflict you only have so much emotional energy each day it's not an unlimited supply it takes a lot of energy to get upset to live offended to think about what they said try to strengthen them out that energy you need for your dreams to pursue your goals to enjoy your family don't spend it on things that don't matter you can't control how everyone treats you but you can control how you respond when someone is rude you don't have to get upset at all when they cut you off in traffic that doesn't have to soil your morning when a co-worker leaves you out you can't control that but you can stay in peace knowing that god is fighting your battles when you take the high road you will not only enjoy your life more but you are showing god he can trust you with more influence with more favor don't go the next 20 years letting the same things upset you same co-worker gets on your nerves don't allow that the same grumpy relatives steal your joy mm -mm, don't they may not change but here is the key you can change sometimes we are trained ourselves to respond a certain way they say this i'm gonna get upset she leaves me out is gonna ruin my night that one is crazy it's crazy if your crazy uncle makes fun of you again you're gonna tell him off don't do that please respect everybody jesus said in the book of john chapter 14 verse 27 stop allowing yourself to get upset someone can't make you get upset you have to give them permission to upset you you have to make the choice i'm offended i'm discouraged i'm so some people know exactly what buttons they can push to get you bent out of shape do you know that next time they push those buttons just smile and say not this time i'm staying in peace i'm going to enjoy this day if someone is rude disrespectful always finding fault they have issues that they haven't dealt with they end up with bitterness insecurity anger bottled up on the inside sometimes that poison will try to get off on you you have to stay on the offensive they may be rude but i'm taking the belt i'm staying calm I'm going to be respectful despite how they treat me. Okay? My boss celebrates everyone except me. He gives others credit for what I've done. But I'm not going to leave, sir. I'm not working on that people. I'm working on to God. Okay? So in, in this our lives, there are people, their aim is just to offend you. Several times in the scripture, it refers to the believer as an ego. Isaiah said, you will mount up with wings like an ego. It's significant that God chose an ego. An ego can fly higher than just about any other bed. There are spotted egos at 30,000 feet 
in the air. That's where the big jets fly. I read where a crow is a natural pest to the ego. Although the ego is bigger and stronger, the crow is more agile. It can turn quicker, maneuver faster, and sometimes to annoy the ego, the crow will f flew right behind the ego, just pestering it, causing it trouble. The ego could turn around, try to fight, think, I'm bigger than this crow. I'm going to show him who I am. Instead, when the ego is tired of dealing with the crow, doesn't try to maneuver it, moving left and right. It simply starts flying higher and higher. The crow can't go where the ego can go. It can't. And it can't handle that high of an attitude. Eventually, it will fall away. This is how we are going to treat those that want you to go down. This is how you are going to let them know that all these things they are doing is not your business. In life, there will always be some crows. You may work with crows, yes? That is bad people. Those that, there's nothing you can do and you can make them happy. You may have neighbors that are crows. You may be sit, sitting, sitting by a crowd, just laugh, and they won't know it. But there will always be people that can get on your nerves. They feel like it's their calling in life to annoy you. Mm -hmm. That is them. Irritated long as you are staying down at their level, you will get upset. Do not allow those people to offend you. The way you get rid of crowds is not engaging with them, but by going up higher. Don't pay attention to what they are saying. Quit reading the negative comments. Don't let the offense get down in your spirit. If you do, you will get drawn into conflict. You are an ego. You are not supposed to be fighting with crowds at all. You are not supposed to be upset with some chickens, picking around, dealing with things that don't matter. Quit being frustrated by the talkies. People that doesn't understand you, people that make a lot of noise, trying to steal your peace, those are distractions to try to get you off course. Wasting time and energy that you need to pursue your goals. You can't stop the crows from crawling. You can't stop the chickens from pecking. The rude people from being rude, the offense, the disrespect, the crunchy neighbor, the critical co-worker, but you can spread your wings and rise higher. You don't have to get engaged in these petty things that don't matter. You were created to soar, designed to do big things, to leave your mark, to be a history maker. Don't waste your venerable time dealing with crows. There will always be people that don't understand you, people that are not fought for you that will try to hinder your calling and sure they will say things that they are hurt for try to make you look bad that puts you at a disadvantage and human nature is to get in there and fight strengthen them out show them what they are made of don't take that bad don't go on that distraction they don't control your destiny. They didn't break life into you. They didn't choose you before you were formed in your mother's womb. What they say cannot stop your purpose. Don't give it the time of day. Ignore it and move forward. You know what will happen. The crows will fall away. They can't hang with you. They can't go where you are going. God puts greatness in you, child of God. The word of God is true. There is a lot of negative chatter these days with all the social media and different ways to allow. Just don't look at them. Move on with your life. Engage in what is meaningful. Okay? The book of Psalm 45 verse 7 says, God has anointed us with the oil of joy. When you walk in your anointing, there is an oil on you to where nothing can stick. Okay? The Lord Almighty is with you. May you remain blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen.